target melee weapons or dex. Um, he's he's got a penalty of minus two because he's trying to hit you from the ground. Um, you actually have a bonus of two because you're on top of him. Okay. Okay. So here's his roll. He made a failure. His, his actual, standard roll. Yeah. You roll a standard roll. Okay. If if you roll a worse failure than he rolled, he 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 gets up. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, you hey. still you still got him pinned on the ground. Um, and that's a good enough success that you can knock the sword away from him. Yes. Okay. I did some good. <laughs> good roll. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> this is much better than last week. Uh, yeah. So that's him, and uh, okay, that's Artorius and Officer Shang. Okay, Ninja One. Uh, it's Ninja One's turn. Um, so let's see, Nightbird, you knocked him down, and he's got a penalty of two. And Chris, you failed to keep him down. So he's going to attempt to get up. Uh, since he's not being held down, he should just be able to get up. And he can move. So, the chase is on. For any of you guys who watch that show. Um, <laughs> but, he's already been fatigued. Okay, that's the end of the round. So, let's see. That was from last round, so I'm going to remove that. And he's no longer prone. So, he is up and moving. Um, okay. Uh, nobody did a maneuver or taunt, so nobody gets a new card. But go ahead and put cards into your pool from your uh, from your hand, please. All right, we are Just so you the... know, guys, I've got a glory in my pool. Dun, dun, dun. Time... <laughs> oh, if any of us glory... We totally want to play that card. There you go. There you go. Um, okay, so Officer Shang is still down, so I'm going to put him back there where he belongs. Uh, and then I'm let's no see. Longer, I'm no longer very vulnerable. Neener, neener, neener. Uh, until the end of your next turn. So let's see. The very oh, that's right. That's right. This is the end of that turn. So yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> go, go ahead and deselect the very vulnerable uh, from your um, token, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna figure out what's next. Okay, so nobody's got a an, another card to deal with. Ninja One's done. Okay, Rios and Anden. I don't know why they're mixed up like that. So next round. All right, you spot a weakness. Um. The villains get to go first, but are stymied. Um, and it's a, it's a standard round, and then heroes get to go after that. Approved actions, again, are maneuver and taunt. Okay? So there's all kinds of things that can, can go well there. Uh, let's go ahead and work with uh, Nightbird and Chris first. What do you guys want to do? Get a plan. Uh, I mean, it's villains go first, and I'm guessing he's just. I would, I would to like it, to right? hold him. Hey, hey uh, Ross, him. can you hear Chris at all? What? Can Can you hear Chris at all? Yeah. Because this is the the second or third time you run over him. <sighs> Sorry, man. It, uh, no, he started and then talking he started. after me. Yeah, I it was, think you just, it was, like, it was after. time. You sure? All right. Let's keep on and keeping on. Well, he, I was trying to, you know, talk to him about a plan, which is what you wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, so go ahead, guys. Do your thing. Uh, uh, I guess I'll rephrase what I said before. Uh, it was since the uh, villains go first, he ran again, right? Yes. Oh? Yes. So I... 
for starters, we would run after him and I guess try to knock him down again. Okay, but he is stymied. Villains do go first. He is stymied. Okay, <laughs> but the only thing he's doing right now is running. Uh, Ross, what was that? I'm yeah. sorry. Um, I was going to take him down and try and hold him down then. And so Chris's character can talk to him or something. Okay. Uh... Okay, Chris, do you have anything that you could... I want to take him alive, so... Right, right. Chris, do you have anything that you could detain the the white ninja with? I'll... Let's see real quick. Uh... Not really. I... Then... Don't have any rope, uh, at least not listed. That's weird. You guys should have Delphi Council kits, and the Delphi Council kits have ropes in them. That's the, that's the second one. Yeah, DC Survival Kit. Let me open that up. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. 20 meters of nylon rope. And, uh, Artorius, I think you've got the same thing. So... Oh. Yeah, check your check your uh, check your gear list and and see what you've got on it. Okay, so Ross, you want to try and take him down? Are you just gonna try and grapple him, or or what do you want to do? What does that look like? Ross, is my boom down? Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Other things going on. Okay. So. Um, you know, I'm a mom, and so, so I have to do some things sometimes. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I want to hold him down. My shoulder hold. Okay, so a, a grappling attack, sent, you're, you're easily going to be able to catch up with this guy, and since he's stymied, he will have actually a penalty of two. Um, but it's, it's uh, unarmed combat, uh, and it is... <laughs> um, uh, it is opposed, unless you're trying to use your sword to to kind of maybe trip his legs up or anything like that. Then it would be a melee weapons attack. Um, didn't mean that. I mean, I have the same skill in both of them. So. Okay. Um, well, it, it 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 counts for me because I need to know what melee we- if I'm using unarmed <clears throat> or melee. Uh, to I'll defend. do melee. I'll do melee then. Oh, okay. And, uh, if I need to, uh, like, break his or something. Okay, so uh, go ahead and go over the top of the ninja with your with your uh, cursor oh, yeah. and hit T. And hit T, yeah. Okay, and then go ahead and roll your melee. Straight up. Oof. That's a terrible roll. Well... It's a standard success, though. You you managed to make a success. Yeah. Um. So now wait a minute. Why is that saying versus standard ten? That's not right. Cause he's he's got a melee weapons of thirteen. So that should have been against his melee weapons. Since you're using a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, something is not right with that. It's it's something that's being worked on for certain. Okay, um, uh, you I managed mean, to knock it jump down, but it didn't. It just no. Uh, it should have. It should have said um, targets dodger dexterity. Oh yeah, it didn't say that. So let's see. His dodge is a thirteen. His de- okay. So in fairness. Why did it do that? Bonus of minus four. Why do you have a bonus of minus four? Let me uh, let me click on this and find out if I can figure out what's going on here. Because you rolled a six. Oh, because you rolled a six. So that's a ten versus actually a thirteen. So you miss. Um, I don't understand why that's not. I don't have. 
Can I use impossibility? No, I you could. You could uh, burn a possibility if you would like to, uh, or if you have a card in your pool. Let's see. You have the, leadership, monologue, I, and ideas. So I put all my cards in, in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nope. He's there. From the tree. <laughs> yeah. There, well, actually, monologue. Oh, you, you sacrifice your turn to make a stirring speech, negate the status on either the hero or villain conflict line. You don't you don't have that one uh, this round since you've already acted. Um, so yeah, you you missed on that one unless you want to throw a possibility at it. Yeah, let me throw a possibility and remove it. Alright. Do you want to reduce it or do you want me to? Yeah, I'll reduce it. It's okay. Alrighty, there you go. Uh, right. and then roll possibility. Uh, on the card. Oh, yep. Uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, 16. Nice. Okay. You get an outstanding success. Uh, let's see. He's got a 13. Uh, that is one short of 10 over. So you've got an outstanding success. Um, yeah. You managed to knock the guy down. Um, you, it's it's not enough to get a player's call, but you can get two um, uh, two penalties on this guy. You can either make him uh, very stymied and vulnerable, or you can make him very vulnerable. Now the stymied. Well, yep, yep. The the stymied is when you are actually kind of tripping this guy up and making it harder for him to use his skills. The vulnerable is when it's easier to hit and harm him. Okay. Well, I don't really want to harm him more because okay. I want to take him alive, mm -hmm. as they say. Um, so let's stymie him. Okay, uh, so he will become very stymied, and he will come mildly vulnerable. Okay, uh, basically basic vulnerable because you got two two successes mm -hmm. on that that you could use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so now, uh, superior. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No problem. And then Chris, uh, what are you going to do now that this guy is very stymied and uh, basically vulnerable? I'm not going to mess it up again. I'm just going to use plain old rope to just time up. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, go ahead and... Uh, Peaches, what did I have you roll? Did I have you roll unarmed for trying to tie the guy up? Or yeah. was it dodge? Okay. Yeah, it was just... Uh... Um, melee, actually, I think. Was it melee? Okay, that's right, melee. Yeah. So, Assuming um, that he was squirming, and I was trying to tie him up, yeah. Yep, and, and he got you. He got you. Okay, so, Chris, uh, go ahead and give me an unarmed roll, please. Or, not unarmed, melee. Unarmed? Blah, 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 blah. Melee. Okay. That's my fault. I'm getting all tongue-tied. Forgot to target him. Yeah, don't forget to target him. Melee. And hold on, hold on. And he's already got the penalties automatically taken into account, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay, so it's a standard success. That's good enough. Um, you get him tied. Uh, he would probably... It's, an, it's a nylon rope. He's probably going to need a strength test of about 18 to get out of it. Okay? So, matter of fact, let me... Uh, a, uh, okay, pop open, text. Okay, and we're going to make it that, and can I make that 18 and have it do something good? Okay. All right, so this guy, uh, oh, hello, um, oh, I'm on the wrong layer okay this guy is prone and let's see what else what else can I throw on him uh, restrained there you go prone and restrained so he's got all kinds of things showing up on him um, okay so that's you two very nicely done uh, it wasn't a taunt or maneuver so you don't get any cards 
but I'm going to go ahead and go to this other group now. Okay. Uh, Artorius, you're still basically sitting on this guy. Peaches, you're free of that very, uh, very vulnerable condition. And Bouchard is here. Do you guys just want to tie him in place? I don't know yeah. if you want to not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Peaches, you regain your rope. Um, go ahead and give me an on our or a melee test again. Uh, with a plus. Let's see. What would that be? A bonus for the number of actors. Total number of actors. Okay. Give me. A, it'll be with a bonus of two. And of course, he's already stymied, so that's going to be a penalty of two on his part. So give me a melee with all of that, if you would, please. What's the difficulty number, then? Uh, it's it's just a... Uh, oh, uh, don't forget to select Officer Shang. Uh, and, uh, or, yeah, go over the top of him. Let me, uh, yeah. let me move him first. There we go. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, just run your cursor over the top of him. Hit T. And then T. make your roll. Oh, wait a minute. I already have. Are, are you the purple? Point. Yeah, you're the purple. So you're good to go. So now go ahead and make your melee roll. Melee. Difficulty number is? Uh, it, it'll be taken care of automatically when you hit the melee weapons skill. All right. Well, I, I, I can still select it if there's a change. But... Okay. Uh, it should pop open the box, and then you hit that. Okay, Jeez. standard I'm success. Oh, good. Okay, see. I am hmm? fumbling around, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Now, let me see something. Can I make a... Oh, sure. Now, oh, it's the box. That's right. you got to change it to the box afterwards. Can I copy this? Control-C. There we go. Control V. Okay. All right. So that guy is also strength 18 to get free. So, um, all right. So you've got these two ninjas tied down, tied up, caught, everything like that. Um, for Chris and uh, Nightbird, it wouldn't really take that much to get the guy back to the house. Okay. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There, there might be a little problem. Uh oh. Chris. Uh, let's let's put it this way: Is telepathy is is is, is telekinesis a a concentration? It is. So since your mind is stronger than your body. <laughs> I'll be right to my computer in a second. Uh, a minute. Sure, you will. Ross, what was it you were going to say? I, I want to make sure he's disarmed and everything. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's a good idea. You managed Let's to... completely frisk him. Yeah. Fact, oh, I yeah. Have... Yeah, I'm not... I'm checking, checking everything and everywhere. And... Take his belt away, things like yep, that. Yep, yep. Untie, untie his shoelace. Take his shoelace. Well, he's probably wearing the... The shoes that are like slippers for the ninja. Yeah, those. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, the cop, yeah. no. The the white ninja, yes. There <laughs> are no tabbies. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's no problem. You were able to disarm him with without a question. Um, Chris, are you back yet? Yes, I am back. Yeah, okay. I'm back. Um, I don't want to interrupt you. I, I'm going to say, well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I'm going to say that you could probably telepathically move this guy since it takes concentration. I'm not even going to have you roll on it uh, unless something untoward happens. Um, uh, Nightbird is, is probably strong enough. She could carry him on her own. Eh, almost. Almost. Uh, but you're strong enough with your tele uh, your telekinesis, you could take care of it yourself. Okay, okay. so I'm going to delete. Let's see, can I delete officer card? Yes, I can delete that. Oh, oh, oh. you guys just want to meet back in the yard then? Yeah. Sure. All right. Okay. 
And I'm sitting on this alley until we're all back together. Oh. Hello. There we go. Whee. Oh, Ross already moved. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, does uh, Detective or Captain Bouchard have handcuffs on him? He does, <laughs> but he's only got one set. Does anybody else have another set? Uh, would I happen to have zip ties anywhere? Do any of these fake officers have some? As a matter of fact, they do. Ah, good. Let's let's make up. Stay home. Stay home in here. And use it on them. There you go. Yeah, let's hang up all the bad guys, shall we? There you go. All the keys are taken away. Okay, Ginger. Yes. Give me a mind test. A mind test? Yes. Uh, hold on here. That's just straight mind? Just straight mind. Oh, dear. Ho, 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 ho! Okay. Um, uh, write it down somewhere on your character sheet with your, with your ambulance bag. You definitely have... Uh, three different lengths and strengths of zip ties. Oh. Sometimes you have to you know, tie either equipment down or people down or, or jerry rig stuff. So I figured that would be something that Just I might have. Make sure you put it on your gear list. Um, and, uh, and, and that way you can reference that and go, I definitely have zip ties. There were ninjas involved. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what are you guys going to do with these ninjas? Well, it doesn't... Michonne, they destroyed Michonne's film, right? Okay, say that again, Ross. Didn't, didn't somebody cut his phone in half or something? Yes. Yeah, one of the ninjas cut his phone. Yeah. So, is... His uh, police car probably has a phone, has a radio or whatever, right? It probably does, yes. Go call for a penny wagon and lock him up. <laughs> okay, Bouchard goes to take care of that. Uh, and he says, do not go inside. And then he looks at the door and he's like, oh. if Look, this is an active crime scene. If you go inside, don't disrupt anything, please. We may not be able to prosecute these guys if we don't have evidence. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Rios to come back out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, do you holler for Rios to come back out? Yes. And no. Um, okay, um, Ginger. Um, actually, between you and Connor, who knows Catherine best and how she would act with this character? Uh, I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I, I think I'm she not too familiar with the character. She, yeah, we, we both know her equally well, but, uh, she seems very dedicated and almost sleuth or curios curious, like. So, so would if she... she has analysis, mm -hmm. um, is, is she from Isle? She seems to be from Isle. No, she's not from Isle. Arosh. Arosh, uh, yeah. Arosh. Okay, then uh, she doesn't... They, they do know to, say, wash their hands before surgery in the Victorian era. Yeah, so, but they don't know so about forensics. Not... Much, but uh, every single one of them were uh, entranced with the Sherlock Holmes novels, which were going, uh, it, which introduced the world to deductive reasoning. Mm -hmm. So if she's got evidence analysis on her uh, well, sheet, which I, I don't know. If she has evidence analysis, she'd be doing her best to oh, hand the scene. And she would naturally be uh, keeping her skirts out of the blood if there were any, because I hear it like it's a very nasty scene. It is. It's so, a, a very nasty yeah. scene. But here's the question. Would Catherine playing Rios when Nightbird called for her to come back outside, 
would she come back outside? Would she become argumentative about it? Or would she ignore? Oh, she, she would not be argumentative. She seems to be very cooperative. Okay, but would she ignore or would she come back outside? No, she agreed with uh, Nightbird about uh, the cyber papacy guy and stood up with Nightbird with him. So okay. uh, I, I think uh, she would she would rally to Nightbird if she if if Nightbird called her. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna bring her out here. Yeah, since and... you know, I follow the uh, fruit of honor and all that, I'm pretty sure I don't want the officer pissed at us. Okay. And ruining this crime scene. <laughs> well, when when Rios comes out. Um, perhaps realizing what she has done uh, in breaking into the crime scene early, uh, she goes, she like goes, oops, and places Andon at the front door as a guard and closes the door. So. No, she wouldn't close the door. I don't think if it was open already. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. I mean, she, 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 She'd leave it as is because she pretty much charged yeah, she in. Yeah, wouldn't as... touch anything. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It. She would have touched the door to open it, the door handle to open it. And the police officers walk out of it, though. No, the police officers were stationed here and over here, outside the door. Okay. Yeah, maybe she just op at, at most she opened the door like. I kind of did on the apartment, but uh, well, no, well, she she she, also, she went inside. She in. Yeah, her and Andon walked in. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Um, Catherine is probably not well versed in in uh, in crime scene etiquette or anything, so uh, I'm I'm not going to hold it against her. But uh, she does she does come back out after all of the festivities. And, uh, uh oh, call this. <laughs> you know what? This is not a bad time to take like a bio. Yeah. Can we take a quick bio break? We're just going to, uh, put food on a plate and come right back. Okay. Uh, yeah, good. okay. Thank you. Then I'm going to pause this. If you guys don't mind, we've only got an hour left, so let's kind of get back to it. Let's okay. rock and roll. I mean, what is going on now? Oh, uh, there we go. I got him to move. Okay, so Bouchard uh, comes walking back up, and he's got his pistol in hand. Uh, I forgot what kind of a pistol it is. I think it's just a uh, like a forty-five caliber or something. Uh, a Glock nine, a Glock nine millimeter. Um, I don't know the exact number on it. So anyway, he's he's got his weapon out, and he's kind of you know, waving you guys to come around and, and, uh, when you, when, uh, all of you get kind of closer, uh, he whispers, those ninjas were coming from the roof. I think we need to clear the rest of the place. So clear the place. Don't touch anything. Do you know how to clear a, a, a building? The uh, all my knowledge comes from movies. I should have that skill as a firefighter. You know, at least clearing, looking for victims. So, clearing, looking for victims. That's true. Basically, you just go room by room. Uh, he explains, and try not to die. <laughs> Don't let yourself be attacked from behind. Right, but we need to do this now before anybody who is inside goes to escape. So he's like, I'll go first. He goes to step inside. Someone should also go from the back. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take uh, Chris and we'll head in from the back. Okay. All right. So you guys want to walk around the side of the building? I'm going to have you do that. Listen, movement uh, on the outside or on regular flat surfaces is up to your dexterity in these buildings. Um uh, if you're climbing upstairs, it's your movement's going to be cut in half. 
Um, and if you uh, come across any situations, we'll we'll work on it then. All right. So Bouchard oh, walks. Rio, huh? Rio sit on the prisoners. Um, there you go. Uh, and and uh, Bouchard has he called for backup? The paddy wagon? Uh, he has. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna have Andon right there. And I'll then stay out here with Andon. You're gonna stay out here with Andon, uh, okay? So then, uh, Chris and Peaches, you're going around the side of the building towards the back, and then Artorius is staying outside. Nightbird, um, let's see, with Nightbird, Bichard, huh? With Bouchard, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you want to do with Nightbird? Uh, well, he won the so. Everybody else is going inside? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll stay out here in case they, they try to run if there's any. Well, if if Nightbird's uh, going to stay out here, then I'll I'll go inside to help out. Okay, or, um, well... Would you rather... Well, one of us needs to stay out here. Mm -hmm. but, well, uh, Rios orders Andon to stay out and keep his uh, his uh, elephant gun on both of these prisoners. They're tied. They're not going anywhere. They're going to require a strength test of 18 to get free. And I may roll that once per round. Uh, in fact, I'll probably roll it here in a minute just as we're getting started. But Artorius, you're going inside. Uh, yeah, I'll, go with, I'll go with Richard and okay. keep my axe in hand. I think Rios is going inside. Um, so that would leave Nightbird and uh, Andon out here. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll stay out here because I, I, I can catch them if they try to kill them. <laughs> okay. Then in that case, um, so okay. So let me let me roll for these ninjas real quick. I want to see if right. they have an opportunity to break free. Okay. Pop oh, open. please don't. Uh, let's see. It's just regular strength versus a target number of eight because um, oh no no eighteen versus a target number of eighteen because they're tied with ropes. Okay, um, and roll that one. And, and they're handcuffed. Failure. Uh, and they're handcuffed. That's true. So we, there's not. I really don't think there's any way they're really going to get away. Okay, uh, when they're like that. However, uh, let's see. No, I rolled for that one. And I still need to roll for this one. Uh, for that, it's just that. Action total of eight and action total of seven. So, okay, so I've rolled for that. Uh, okay, so Bouchard gets in, and he immediately takes a right. Uh, let's see, what is his, what is his speed? Hello, hello. Okay, he's got a dex of nine. So, okay, so he's, he's got his weapon, and he is, uh, headed upstairs. So that's four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. He's not going to go further than that this round. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of run down. Uh, uh, Connor, have you already moved for this round? Have you moved, Chris? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Peaches. Round 10. Okay. Peaches, are you going to move? Oh, sure. Um, what's my movement again? Uh, it's, ba it's equal to your dex for a basic movement, and then if you decide to run, it's, uh, it's, higher, it's up to three times that. Uh, well, what is, is Chris walking or running? I think Chris is just walking. Oh, why did I hit that? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I don't want anybody to, to slip out the back door while we're busy dickering out here in the front. And the ninja that we chased was heading around the house. So I'm going to run. Okay. So um, your max uh, is up to three times your dex. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18. Where's the back door? It's you're pretty much standing right next to it and it's open. Okay. So, um now, I'm I'm planning myself in the door and waiting for Chris. Okay. Chris, when Peaches okay. runs past you, uh does it give you any impetus to run faster? Uh Yeah. Okay. Oh. And and I'm looking, is there a fire escape or a ladder on this building? I know it's a no. home, but it's a town home, yeah. Okay. The two of you um please give me an evidence analysis test versus a target number of fourteen. Evidence analysis and we're gonna have to add the running dis uh, Correct. Well, that's, so that's a penalty that's of two. Well, isn't that why the difficulty number is 14? No. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Nice. I forgot to change the difficulty. Oh. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, you would have failed then. You would have failed even if you, you changed the difficulty. Because uh, you, okay. your action total was a 12. The target number was a 14. And you had a minus 2 for running. So you actually rolled a 10 versus 14. So, Peaches? What is the, the difficulty number is what? 14. So it's very hard. And mm -hmm. I'm at a minus two penalty? Yep. That's minus six total. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When you are, when you're opening the card, okay, let me get your evidence analysis and I'll pop it open. Okay. When you first open the skill test uh, uh, dialog box, you've got the difficulty mm -hmm. number in the top left. You put it to mm -hmm. hard, 14. Okay. Yes. Then... If you go down a line where it says disfavored and move to your right where it says movement penalty, you have a running uh, box that you can select there. And ah, then you click go. on roll. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. You, you even rolled worse than, than uh, Chris did. That's okay. No big deal. Uh, Artorius. I'm just kind of going down the list here, folks. Yeah, I'm going to follow behind Bouchard, try to have a six. Okay, so, me... so he went up the stairs here. Okay, right, so... Let me get him moved to one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, right behind okay. him. Okay, all right. This one will be. Okay, uh, and then for Rios, I keep forgetting what hers is. She has a dex of eight. All right, um, she's actually going to go her own way. Uh, she's already moved to three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and and she turns. Oh, whoa! That's the wrong way. Okay, and you, uh, all of you, basically hear her. Uh, matter of fact, Peaches and and Chris, you might be surprised by this too. There is a huge tape outline inside the building. Uh, I need to see if you guys are able to see that. Uh, let's see, walls. Mm -hmm. you, I can see it. You can see it? Okay. Because that turns into a wall that you can cross. Okay, good. Um, so, you managed to, to see that body, but Rios, uh, you guys didn't express that you would see, you would make any kind of a noise or anything, but she makes kind of a surprise noise. Um, but it's, it's almost like a... It's not just surprised. It's more uh, curious, kind of a almost a almost a curious squeal, if you will. So, uh, Ooh. yeah, something like that. There you go. Uh, she okay. sees this huge tape outline on the floor. Uh, Artorias, what was that? No, I think it was close enough. Yeah. That's close enough. Oh, I forgot to do that. Uh, let me know. That's under here. Here. Let me reveal this. Okay. Uh, when Artorias, this will be uh, notable to you. When you walk in, you see on the on the floor to the right of the entry pad, there are three pair of shoes that are underneath a bench, and they are undisturbed. Oh. They're 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 actually kind of stacked neatly next to one another, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, Nightbird, I know what you're doing. Okay, now I'm gonna go in reverse order. Uh, Artorius, um, Bouchard, 
kind of disappears. <sighs> Come on, that's not what I wanted to happen. Hang on a second. Let me get let me get some light over here. Okay, and get him facing the right direction. Okay. <sighs> and then wait a minute. Oh, there you are. Oh, for heaven's sake, get out of there. Okay. And then you guys are moving up the stairs. Okay. Um, All right. And you still got, uh, let's see, how, how much is your normal movement? My normal movement's eight. Eight. Okay, so you've still got six more. So let me kind of get Bouchard out of the way. Um, okay, he goes to get up behind the computer desk, and he's checking things out, uh, making sure nobody is under. Would you turn correctly? Thank you. Okay, um, what do you do? You could probably try to check some of the rooms to see if we got anybody hiding upstairs. Well, so. yeah, you're, you're going to have to head upstairs to do that. Um, Three, four. Now, remember, your your movement is cut in half on the stairs, so you probably you probably got one more space you can move. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, get right about here for now. Okay, now, obviously, you're not in that particular area. There's yeah, just no, no way to. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know if I you know can see in good. there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I cannot. Okay, good. Um, so you're there. Uh, let's see. When you were there, let me let me take a look real quick. I got to look at something. Were you able to see? Yeah, you were able yeah, to see it. Yeah, I would have outline. seen it on my way. Yeah, I would have seen it on the way up. Yeah, you would have seen it on the outline. Uh, do you remember the names of the mom and the daughter, and which one would this be that you've seen? I don't remember the names, actually. <laughs> now, I thought... Yeah, Should have taken notes. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I've got the notes for you. Let me check on these. No on that one. Uh, let me check permissions on this one. Uh, oh, you're still in... Act one. I can't give you that one. Okay. Uh, observations. <laughs> Observers. All right, creepy dude. Uh, <laughs> let me see this one. Okay. No, you don't have that one. Okay. No. Uh, I did not free up that particular dossier. So this would be Victoria. The mother. The mother. Ooh, okay. I had it right in my head. Ooh. I just didn't Ooh, have sorry, it Maverick. I'm not trying to kick you. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Um. So, uh, let's see. Peaches, are you going in? She went to put her plate I in, huh? No, no, no. I was in fact swallowing and after stuffing my face. Oh well, um, I appreciate you muting in that case. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. The lasagna was worth it. Oh. Uh, Homemade lasagna. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me, our Smalls. Secret, our secret family recipe upon right, right. the famous words that were uttered from uh, um, Tracy's father-in-law was, son, if you don't marry her for this, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I was just going to say lasagna is my favorite meal, and I'll train you mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll have to contrive a way to swap prisoners. No problem there. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's see. So now uh, I'm going to uh, put gloves on and such uh, so I don't corrupt any evidence. And Do you offer any to Chris? Yes. Okay. But uh, I have a feeling he doesn't actually touch things anymore. Well... <laughs> um, to to explain for Chris, as an aerospace engineer and probably now as a psionic, um, there's gloves, no explaining. Gloves, gloves are going to be a different thing for you. Gloves that you will use would be for working on aircraft and stuff like that. You may not think of it in a criminal sort of, of way, keeping your hands off of stuff, keeping your fingerprints to yourself. Uh, whereas the dichotomy is that Peaches does. Yeah. So, uh, uh, for me and gloves, it's to protect my hands. Okay. Yeah. Well, Whatever these are like nitrile, be. right? The nitrile gloves. Yeah. And uh, if if possible, because I do have a med kit, I do. I have any uh, shoe covers as well. 
Sure. That's just so I don't get blood on my clothes. Or oh. if I do check blood, I'm not adding, you know, the the DNA and the evidence, forensic stuff from my shoes. Right. Into the Right. Now, these three squares that I'm highlighting here for you guys are not yeah. uh, grass. Those are actually concrete. It's a back porch. Ah. I, for, I, I just did the, the grass is a complete background thing. So I didn't even think to add a porch. What a putz. Anyway. Um, right. so, uh, <laughs> uh, so for for forensic purposes and to preserve the crime scene, I am offering Chris the gloves and, and booties too, bootlets for the shoes. And you uh, put the gloves on and then you put one shoe on and you step inside and you put the other shoe on before you plant your foot, the other shoe, foot inside the door. It, it's gonna it's gonna take you a bit to do that so um you probably have enough time to just step inside uh, i think yeah i would think both adding both sets uh gloves and booties are probably a uh simple actions but it probably does take the whole turn it, it, well yeah it's 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 gonna take enough of the turn that you can just step inside towards the end of it um okay, okay so then you two do step inside, uh, and what do you do first? Um, I think I would head to the, uh, um, how do I turn around here? Well, you I, have to cl would... click on your character and then use your shift key and your mouse wheel to move your, your facing, or you can just use your arrow keys to, to you should be able to go in. Are you able to get in at all? Nope. Because there's an open door right here. I, sh I should be at it. Yeah? You know what? I know what the problem is. Hang on. I put a window in there, not just a door. So, oh, oh no, no, no. That's not the one that I wanted to change. Thank you. It's, it's a sliding patio door, perhaps? Yeah. It is a sliding patio door, and I just opened it for you. So... You guys should be able to uh, move a little bit to come in. Try nope. moving one space to your right and then come in. There you go. Okay. And Chris, I, you're going to have to do the same thing when it's time. Hmm? I don't intend to stand on the body. Uh, wait, uh, here. Yeah, you guys basically, you know, step around and everything like that. Uh, obviously, you've got a, a dining room table right in here. Okay, uh, and uh -huh. then there's a kitchen entry right here. Let me guess, you're not able to come in here, are you? Uh, I, I am. I'm in the kitchen vestibule or whatever, but I'm turned to look at the body first. Okay. Um, give me an evidence analysis, please. I just the millennial What's... I uh, just Let's see if I can determine what's going on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You you really don't detect anything. I don't. I I don't know if you guys are just having a bad night or whatever. Oh, by the way, that combat ended. I should probably end that combat, and you guys can take all of your cards back from, um, uh, from your pools. Uh, and you know that way you'll have them available for the n next time. If there's no, or when there's another fight, I should say. Okay, uh, so Peaches, is that as far as you're going to go? Yeah, um, I'm going to look around. If, if I had to get nothing from the body, I'm going to look around and see if, like, maybe if it was a butcher knife from the kitchen or something next. Okay. But, I, right. but Chris, you read is, the file. Uh, yeah, I did, and I can't remember what, what they said. It was the whole family was dead? Well, everybody's dead, but I mean, for this particular body, um, he had quite a few very sharp slashes across his abdomen, and then he was covered in holes. And they were tiny, in general, tiny holes. Okay, uh, Chris, do you have anything else you're going to do this particular turn, or are you more or less just following Peaches for now? I'm just following Peaches. Okay, all right. I um, asked. Hmm? on it uh, i do ask his take on it so he can do an evidence analysis too if he All wants right. to do an ev evidence analysis that's fine do you and uh, the difficulty standard 
Uh, yeah, just just roll a regular evidence analysis. Holy smokes! There we go. Wait a minute. Where's the other twenty? Uh, uh, I'm not skilled. You're not skilled. Okay. All right. But that's a good success nonetheless. That's nine points above the standard. Okay. Um, you notice that... Hey, where did I get that plus two from? Modifier plus two. Bonus was plus seven because you rolled a 20. Modifier plus two. I don't know. Uh, let, let's, let's see if I can... That's not helping me. Uh, dude, I don't know. Um, look at your sheet. Oh, I think I know. Maybe I think I might figure out the reason. What's that? I'm still targeting the uh, ninja one who has a plus two to you know vulnerable. Dude, That's okay. Where the modifier came from? Yeah, if you would just go ahead and and. Uh... Uh, you know, release I, that. I'm selected. I'm unselected okay. Now. So th that's okay. It's still a 17 on your action total versus a standard of 10. Um, okay. You see darkened blood. Mm. It's still red, but it's very dark red blood uh, spattered ab ab on the above the counter, or not above the counter, above where the body was laying against the half wall of the counter right here okay uh and there is hair a clump of hair uh kind of dangling from the uh blood stain you think on that and i'm gonna i'm gonna mm. move on artorius what did you want to do next The next thing I'd probably want to do is just move into the closest room I have and search it. Okay, let me make sure about the lights. Let's see, there's a light that's supposed to be there. Uh, hello? There we go. Wow, that's really bright. That is very bright. Uh, hang, hang on a second. Let me see if I can... Light radius... Uh, I thought I had these turned down. Color intensity is at 0.2. It shouldn't be that bright. Let's Ooh. reduce it to 0.1. That's a photo bulb. Yeah, light animation, none. Advanced options, constrained by walls, provides vision. Well, yes, of course, it provides vision. Um, coloration technique, adaptive luminance. I Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, luminosity. See, there it is, luminosity 0.5. This is, okay, the, the guys that do the lighting... Um, for the, uh, for, I can't, it's an ambient light thing that they do. Uh, let's try and move this back up to 0.2, update light sources, and that's not much better. Okay, who's trying to get a hold of me? Nobody. Okay. I mean, that's not as bright at least. It's not as bright, but I can do better. Hang on. Uh, advanced options. Luminosity of 0 0.2. Let's go down to 0 0.05 and update light source. That didn't do anything. That did not do anything. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to have to adapt these as we're going along. All right. That's fine. Why is that point zero, negative 0 0.05? Leave that at zero and basic configuration. And, and I will try to... Okay. That should be... Just enough right there. Point 0.1. We'll go with point 0.1 from now on and zero. How's that? That's good right there. It's There's definitely a difference. Okay. Uh, All right. So. They added a whole... From the time that I built this map until now, they've added a whole bunch of, of controls that weren't right. there before. Okay. So w what are you going to do, you said? I'm going... I'm, I'm going to... Since I'm close to this room, I'm going to search it when I enter the room. Okay. Go ahead and open the door and I'll get the lights on. And I'll adjust them before I turn them on. Uh, Maverick, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> oh, gosh! Okay, luminosity is going to be zero here. And only one here. Oh, man. I wish... I, I, I should have read the rules. 
Okay, and then I can turn that on. Okay, so you get that on. And right. I've, I've only got the light on right now, even though it's still daylight, um, but it's starting to get kind of dark. Okay. Right. So, uh, okay, so besides, you guys are more or less just clearing the house. You're not really, I, I'm, I don't think you're really searching much of anything. All right. Um, oh, go the door. It won't let you go through. There you go. That there one goes. Let you through the door. Okay. It was acting up for a moment. So you don't find anybody in here. Oh, uh, let's see. And, but you have a closed door to your left. And uh, I'm going to keep my axe to the ready and I'm going to check the door. <laughs> Got to check that room, I guess. Okay. So you're going to open it? Yep. Okay. Let me get him turned real quick to the right direction. Okay. Uh, let me again open this. Color intensity, 0.1. Advanced options. I wish they wouldn't have added this luminosity thing. Maverick, you're going to have to wait. You hmm? can see in the room pretty fine. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah. But those are the lights that you're you're basically able to get on and see by. Uh, I right. guess with an enclosed closet, you probably would, would have about that much light. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. Nope, nothing yeah. out of Next the ordinary. Thing. And what you see... Oh, nope, wrong one. I need this one. Oh. Right-click, Paul. Okay. What you do see over here, though... Uh, in this area is there is a California closet with hangers. Uh, the bed is made. Nothing is uh, is untoward or out of place, as far as you can tell. It looks okay. like this room was left alone. Yeah. Is okay. the uh, the California closet open or is it closed? It, well? It's it's partially open, like you see there. Okay. Um, but there's nothing in it. I mean, there, there's really, honestly, there, there might be some old lady clothes or something like that. Not old lady, but old, comma, lady. Right. Okay. So okay. I guess you need to start heading to the next room. Okay, well, ha hang on, because I got to move Bouchard also. No, you're fine. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. And he's in there. And again, lighting. Would I have heard him enter that next room? Uh, yeah, you heard him walking out in the on the carpet because it's kind of that thick, uh, the big thick carpet. Yeah, another one you're talking about. So yeah. I know he's in that room, so I know that I didn't need to probably check the other room. Probably the bathroom. I probably just need the bathroom on the yeah, but to this room. But that'll kind of be on the next turn. I'm kind of you know that's fine. I'm just planning ahead. Okay. Um, do you guys want to want me to kind of make this long story short so we can kind of bring the evening more or less to an ending? Yeah, we, yeah. And then we can do that. You can actually start searching uh, uh, next time. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, you do manage to get the house cleared, and everybody more or less meets back at the front door. Um, by the time the house is cleared, the paddy wagon is pulling up. Um. Uh, and there are some officers getting out. There's a car that pulls up behind, and uh, those officers get out also to come and, and help with the uh, with the ninjas. Okay. Um, there you really don't, except for the body outlines and stuff like that. You 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 search basically all three stories of the house, um, and don't really find uh, you you don't find any opposition or anything like that, but some of your imaginations are, are more or less starting to to go to go wild uh, on the on the second floor where Remington and uh, Bouchard are. Uh, you see uh, Victoria's body at the base of the stairs up to the up to the third floor, uh, as was described. Uh, not her body, the outline of the body. I apologize. Mm -hmm. And then for uh, for Cynthia. Uh, in the in you see her stuff in the bedroom. You'll be, those of you who are, are not seeing the colors and stuff yet, you'll be able to see them next week, um, uh, and kind of walk around and explore some more because I'll turn all the lights on at that point. Um, and then uh, her her body outline is on the bed, and and there are holes in the bed, and you can smell singed fabric. 
Ooh. not necessarily singed human being, but singed fabric. fabric. Um, right. And, of course, the body's been removed. On the third story, third floor, uh, you've got the master bedroom for, uh, for John and Victoria. Uh, and then you've got John's office up there as well. There are some other things, too. You'll be able to see those more or less next week. But you do get the house cleared, and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, you know, it was a well-appointed house. It was nicely laid out, well taken care of, et cetera, et cetera. So... Um, any questions before we kind of cut it out for the night? Oh, sir. Okay. Good game again. Okay. Yep. I, it, I thought it might be kind of boring because of the investigation properties of it, but, uh, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's not, that's not, it's, it's not annoying. It's kind of similar with Dungeons and Dragons. Like sometimes you don't have any combat. It's more of learning the story and investigating stuff. Yeah. It's always fun in my book. <laughs> Me too. Okay. And then, Ross, what were you saying? I was just agreeing. Oh, okay. Cool. Rock on. Um, yeah, the the next part, we're, we're probably going to want to have Catherine here for it anyway. So it's it's probably a good idea. Uh, this will allow right. me, uh, kind of cutting it out early tonight, will allow me to get some lights on and some... You know, some things darkened so that so that we can have the right ambiance to it, uh, and to move tokens kind of back to the beginning down in the down in the living room. Um, uh, not necessarily so that you can start again, but uh, what I might do is just kind of group folks together so that you can look at each of the rooms individually, and then the most important room is going to be Parkhurst's office. Yeah, that yeah, that. Yeah. But I, I need to read through this again so that I can prepare and kind of get things down. So if there are no further questions, uh, anything like that, you know, we can we can take a powder for the night and then pick it back up next week. Is that all right? Follow me, sir. Okay. Uh, and then, Remy, hang on for just a minute. I want to talk to you. Uh, sure. Okay. So... Uh, is anybody dissatisfied with anything? No. Okay. Yeah. If there's no questions and you're not dissatisfied, then then uh, not I yet. not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Don't pick on me, man. Um. So I'll see oh, you all next cool. week. All right. See you. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Hasta la bye bye. Hasta la bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's up? Okay, let me... Uh... Uh, oh, sure you will. <laughs>